President Atta Mills has reiterated that government will ensure free and fair elections next year. But he noted that the nation must guard against verbal abuse in the name of politicking, adding that the tendency could have dire consequences. He was speaking at the Third General Assembly of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church at Ho, where he urged religious bodies and civil society to continue to exert their weight in the promotion of peace and unity in the country. The Evangelical Presbyterian Church was established in 1847 by the Bremen Mission. It has its headquarters at Ho in the Volta region. The General Assembly of the Church, being the highest order of the Church, was instituted three years ago with branches all over Ghana and in some parts of the world. Yipi Church Ghana has been very influential in Christian religious affairs. The congregation was joined by a high-powered government delegation led by President John Atamils as the church observed its third general assembly. Also present were representatives of the German Bremen Mission and the Christian Council of Ghana. The moderator of the General Assembly of Yipi Church, Ghana, Right Reverend Francis Amenu, called for integrity in all aspects of national life. He said society will bear the brunt if falsehood is allowed to fester and appear as the truth. However, whilst calling for the right attitudes, Right Reverend Amenu said the process of correcting wrongdoers must lead to their reform. We therefore urge the gatekeepers of news reports to be guided by the value of truth and accuracy and ensure cross-checking of facts. Failure to do so creates the opportunity for the destruction of the lives of innocent individuals and groups within the society. President John Mills' speech dwelt extensively on language used in political discourse and the next general elections. He called for sobriety, saying, Language can make or not make anything, even nations. By your tongue, you may either build or destroy. Words are potent and they are spiritual. Need I remind you that the good Lord created this earth just by the words of mouth. And if you look at the Bible, we are being told to watch our tongue because our tongue is a very potent weapon. We should tame it, we should bridle it. Otherwise, what has been built can be destroyed in no time. I wonder what examples we are setting for the young people of this country. Some of us have no respect for the truth. Anything goes. Some of us do not have any regard for upholding the principles of morality. Some of us do not care what we say with our tongue. My brothers and sisters, this theme is a theme which should lead us to some self-inspection and a determination to turn over a new leaf and that make sure that this country rates itself of forces that are likely to destroy it. The EP Church Ghana, which has established a university, is focusing on a massive public campaign on environment and climate change. From the Dela Cathedral, the president moved to the grounds of the policy fair at Ola Secondary School, also in Ho. Among the stands he visited were those of the Ministry of Defense, the Ghana Highway Authority, and the National Youth Authority. 